What's going on, boys and girls? Today, we're going to talk about the very high cost to free information. There was some sad person who left one jacked up comment about Clay Glendon's trying to sell us some courses that we can download this information from free. I've made it really clear in terms of Craigslist information, in terms of how to run a retail business, in terms of how to start your business, there's not a lot of my information out there. And it got me to thinking, how many people are held back by this notion of, I can get it for free? Because where are the results? If all of this high level information out there is able to make people money, why aren't people downloading it and applying it? I got a few reasons why this is the case. Essentially, where I'm at, when I go looking for information, it is very hard for me to find it for free. I can get maybe an off ramp or a little bit of information, but typically if I'm trying to get solid results, I need to pay for it typically, or I have to run my own experiments, which, you know, is takes a little time. You're just not going to get all of these results. But the first problem for the people who feel that I can get it for free is a scarcity mindset. I remember watching this guy talk about, because right now FBA courses are a hot, hot thing. The amazing selling machine has made like $90 million. So there, there's many, many people who are coming up with FBA courses, Shopify courses, and they're killing it. And I was watching this one guy who was talking about these FBA courses and he was like, I'm not going to pay any money for it. I'm going to just keep going for his free information on and on and on and on and on. And this person who had a YouTube channel, which I went back to revisit, he, he isn't making any more videos. His last video was like, I'm leaving Amazon FBA. And a big part of that scarcity mindset is part of, I'm not going to spend this money I have because I can get it for free. You have people out here who have been looking for years for this free information and they refuse to let any money go. So not only is that a scarcity mindset, it's also a massive waste of time. It, let's talk about that. So if you're one of these, I can get it for free people, but you have not. And once again, you know, for anyone who wants to leave a jacked up comment, tell me how many of these courses and these things that you've gotten for free have made you 10,000, 15, 20, $30,000 a month. Please put that in the comments because one of the things we've done on this channel is we've talked about the average household income, the average single person income. So if all of this information that's available for free was a hundred percent viable, people's income would drastically be different. Everyone has, Everyone has a cell phone. That's all you need to get in the game to get this free information. So scarcity mindset, massive waste of time. Here's another issue that's going to happen. Going back to this guy on the FBA courses, because um, when you're trying to find the appropriate information online for free, you lose money. Let me be this really clear. You lose money. 
the longer that you take to actually get started, to start deploying stuff, to start putting stuff together, the more money that you lose because you're not actually doing anything effective. So scarcity mindset, massive waste of time, and you're losing money chasing this information for free because, you know, on this channel, I've given you information like if you're willing to do Craigslist hard, you can make 300 to 500 to 600 bucks a month. That's your money to buy most of these courses. So you don't really want to actually think about that. That's the free information that you can utilize and get busy. Another issue with going for free is you learn a lot of stuff that you necessarily don't need. And in terms of digital marketing, it, the landscape changes so fast. Uh, this is a problem that colleges are having. The curriculum that they're teaching people is obsolete because they're not set up where they can learn as fast as companies like, you know, go with Apple, uh, Google, they're hiring people without degrees because they realize that we need certain people in here. And these companies are learning so much faster than these um, corporations on, well, these colleges on information. So if you want to learn how to run Facebook ads, you're better off buying a course. If you want to learn how to do YouTube better, you're better off spending some money. If you want to learn how to start a business, you're better off spending some money. Just hands down. Also, another thing that happens is if you're the I can get it for free person, you have lack of perspective. I have not ever seen one of these people who I can get it for free actually do anything big and there's some i've watched because uh, i used to get this all of the time hey glennon i'm going to get your free information i'm not going to buy any of your courses and i've seen these people and many of them because some of them i kept up with because they would comment they've never really gone on to bigger and better things another thing that free does is a lack of commitment because you're not spending any money, you're not working as hard as you can. That's just the way it is. It's like, uh, I remember it was funny. I got uh, someone that was asked to be removed from the email list. They got the free 19 courses and I went in, they never opened up the courses. So even if someone has something of value that's for free, most people don't respect free. They just don't. And I was just sitting there. This is crazy. Also, another thing that happens to the people who I can get it for free. Your ability, your faith in yourself to get things done diminishes it. Because let me go ahead and give you the, the process of people who are offering free information. This happened to a guy who was staunchly against charging for information. He built up a channel. He, he was doing really well. Then people started asking him questions. Then he started answering these questions and it got to the point where he's like, look, you know, I, I gotta start charging for this because it's like a full-time job. And when he said this, I was laughing because uh, his community they did not like that because he was to like, I'm going to give you this good information for free. You're going to go ahead and uh, it's going to be valid. And then uh, he lost a lot of people because the realities is that if you're a person on YouTube, Facebook, how many hours can you devote to giving people content for free? Would you, work 40 hours a week giving people high level content training for free would you do that and the answer is more than likely no but 
for some reason, there's some people who um, feel that other folks should do that. And this is something else I wanted to touch on. The number of people who feel that, because uh, I got this, I don't get this comment. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it anymore. It's been years since I've gotten it. But I remember I used to get it. It's like, Glennon's got money. He should be good. When Bill Gates became a millionaire, the people said, all right, Bill, you got a million. You need to stop making money. Steve Jobs, when he became a billionaire, Larry Ellison of Oracle. No one ever said, you know, uh, Mr. Uh, Wonderful, uh, I forget, the Shark Tank guy, Kevin O'Leary. They already have a lot of money. And no one is saying, look, you know, you got enough money. You need to sit down. You need to stop. I used to, I think I've done a very good job of getting rid of those crazy people because this is how the game is, is going. Once you play the game to a certain level and you get to a certain level of money, it becomes even more fun. The money is how you keep score. You don't just play the game not to keep score. And it's just interesting how people who think like that are often predicated by I can get it for free guy the I can get it for free guy I can do all of this stuff for free I can make these moves for free very you know goes goes back to what I said about that scarcity mindset the scarcity mindset is one of the biggest things that's holding people back because if you see that you have to give up some money for something then you see that as a loss. You don't see that as a gain unless you're buying something that has done a good job of selling you on seeing it as a gain. But I'm here to tell you, many of you are holding yourselves back by waiting to get this information for free. And I've actually done a lot of research. Um, most of these courses don't cost that much money. If you are gainfully employed and you're making above minimum wage, some of these courses is just maybe two or three days of you working. Um, I have a bunch of courses that, you know, are below the video to help you get started. One of the things that we're going to start doing, and uh, the first one is this Thursday, how to put together your LLC. Uh, I've had some people who hit me with some questions. You, you'll be able to ask your questions during the training. So hold off to that, write them down. And then when we'll do the training, you'll be able to ask your questions. But I'm going to start doing a bunch of these little trainings, a bunch of them. And they'll be live for the, be for the better feedback. So you can ask questions so you can go over the information and part of, you know, um, I'm probably going to do the money income profit training that way. Cause uh, we're going to get that crunk up again, starting next week. And we're going to get some more stuff and you know, f the, um, how to set up your LLC for your online business is going to be different because um, we're going to talk about how to set up an LLC for an online business. Um, there's other parts to that that I'll make available for the people who take the training at a discount. I'll just send you an email for everyone that shows up, but we're going to get into a lot of paid effective training to shorten your learning curve because once again if you're one of those scarcity mindset people that because I just saw that comment and I was shocked because I haven't seen a comment like that in a few years but part of it is sometimes I get off track and I don't really push my message for you to have the life that you want you're going to have to spend some money. It's not going to be free. It's not going to be a cheap little thing. It's not going to be 
something. Uh, I was watching this thing. Uh, Google Vince Wang. Uh, he was on the uh, Billie Jean show. And he talked about how he got started with Alex Becker's courses on the SEO. Then he moved on to some other stuff. Then he bought Billie Jean's courses. Then he got a mentor. And this guy was doing $500,000 in a month. But he paid for his education. And a lot of these younger people are realizing that you must pay for your education because this stuff changes so fast that, you know, you watching videos can seriously um, waste a ton of time and you can lose a lot of money because you're not making money. And also a big thing is for the, I can get it for free people. A lot of you are just not committed to success. You will say that. And then um, I'll like, I've watched people like the person who made the comment. See what you see. Uh, let me give you a little secret. What you watch on YouTube gives me a big indicator of what kind of person that you are. And this person wasn't watching a lot of high level content. There was just, um, there are a lot of people out there that want the best of the best for the price of free so they can have the option to consume it. Since it's free, they have the option to consume it. If you had spent like $2,000 on a mastermind, you're going to show up and you're going to participate. Just facts. Just facts. And we're going to get into a lot of, a lot of different trainings. Also, for you guys who are watching the man's channel, we're going to get into a lot of training with that. A ton of training with that. So there it is. You know, if um, you want to continue to keep paying the high cost of free information, that's cool. I mean, I think the internet's perfect for like how to fix this thing or how to uh, paint something. That information is great. But high level business information it's going to cost you some money. Just facts. All right. So uh, I want you guys to go below. Uh, we're going to do the LLC training next Tuesday, 7 p.m. It's already set up where you can go in and get in to the webinar. We'll sign up for the webinar. And also be sure to get on the email list. There's a lot of stuff that's coming down. So I want you guys not to be missing this. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.